Good evening to wherever you may be. It's time now for Midnight Baseball, episode number 67. I'm Spencer Dodgers, and I'm coming to you from on location, Whidbey Island, the Pacific Northwest, in the state of Washington. We're talking baseball all the time. I'm on spring break with my family, and I'm bringing you tonight's episode, the week that was number one. Okay, it's one and done, and we're in the past. I'm gonna tell you some of the hot stories, what's going on in week one, and what I'm burning on. Okay, trivia from last time. Which jersey number 66 is retired in Major League Baseball? Only one's retired, number 66. It's a special coach. One, two, three. None other than Don Zimmer, Zimmer, Zimmer. Don Zimmerman, known for being a player growing up, also known for being one of the best bench coaches with the Yankees in the 90s with Joe Torre. Moved on, got his number retired in Tampa Bay as number 66 as he went on down there and became a kind of a legendary figure and a coach as well. So 66, Don Zimmer on Tampa Bay Devil Rays. All right, week one, what's got going on? Story number one, how you like me now? How you like me now? Yeah, Buck Showalter, that's what I'm talking about. Buck Showalter got his team started off to a 5-0 start. Who's talking about Zach Britton and the, the loss from last year's playoffs? Nobody anymore, right? Which team's won the most games in the last five years in Major League Baseball during the regular season? Baltimore Orioles, okay? If you're a writer, if you're somebody out there, blogger, tweeter, whatever, if you were talking bad about Showalter last year, why don't you go ahead and give him a little shout out now and say what a great job he's doing this year. I know it's only one week, they lost the day of the Yankees, but Showalter, keep doing what you're doing. People are gonna hate. The more haters, the more successful you're gonna be. Number two, Colorado, the land of the free land, right? Mr. Kyle Freeland, a lefty, had his debut for the Rockies, and what did he do? He signed the Los Angeles Dodgers. What a great job by this young lefty. It was fun to watch him pitch. Uh, Rockies need this, right? If you're a Rockies fan, what do you want? You want young, homegrown talent from the state of Colorado, pitching in your ballpark and winning. That's something that you guys need, okay? Something that Colorado wants and needs, and if they can get some productive from more of their offense, they're gonna do stuff. Story number three today. Son of a blister, son of a left-handed middle finger on uh, Rich Hill's hand. Dodgers signed this guy to more money, another veteran for three years, $40-something million, McCarthy, Kashmir, who, Anderson, whoever the Dodgers give the old money to. This time it's Rich Hill, and he's already injured. Rich Hill, that blister, I don't know if you can put like tape or glue or something, I don't know what you can put around, pine tar or something. Put something around it, wrap it up, do something. Okay, moving on. Uh, what was it? Uh, Paul, Paul, Paul. My main man, Paul, I think I was calling this. Paul Molitor, story number four. Twins are doing work. Paul Molitor is not to be slept on. If you ask people, is Paul Molitor in baseball? They're probably going to say no, okay? But Paul Molitor is the manager of the Minnesota Twins. They're going to do stuff this year. I know, uh, you know, you can't really believe in them. Everyone wants to say the Royals or the Tigers or the Indians are going to be easy, but Twins are coming out earlier. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it now. One of my surprise players for the week one is Miguel Sano. We'll talk about him soon. He's hitting bombs, and he's carrying the Twins so far. And my last story, what I got here going on is... Stick a Mariner's fork in them. How can I forget? I'm hearing the Puget Sound. I could have a boat right there, but Mariners just gave up, I think, six or seven runs in the ninth inning. It's ridiculous. Their bullpen's always been a problem. The young flamethrower Diaz isn't gonna solve that. Put money into the bullpen Mariners ASAP or your fans are gonna be disappointed this year. Stick a Mariner's fork in them. They're one in five, start the week off. Opening week's coming up. It's gonna be tough with the Astros in town. So if you're a Mariners fan, get on your knees. Say your prayers to the Poseidon, the gods of the sea, and hope for better tides and better weather, okay? Because it's a tough road coming up. All right, shout out is going to right now to Moss Bay Fantasy Team. I'm in Cutlass Bay, but no, I'm talking about Moss Bay. These gentlemen of a fantasy league in downtown Seattle have had it going for over 30 plus years. I was gracious enough to you know, give their auction, uh, their auction draft some presents yesterday. It was a super fun thing. I'm gonna show some more videos and stuff of that. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter, but Moss Bay Fantasy, you guys are awesome. Uh, Seattle City of Flights yesterday. I mean, if you go big, if you're gonna do fantasy baseball, go big, right? These guys go big. Go big because you spend so much time and energy on fantasy baseball, don't cut it short. Know what you do, it's your hobby, it's your passion. Do what these guys do at Moss Bay and go large. Okay, good job guys. 
Trivia, man, it's bright out here. If you see me squinting and griming, I'm totally getting after it. Spencer Dodgers is doing what I love best. My kids are at the park playing baseball. I'm here talking with you real quick, giving you the update. Uh, trivia from last time. Oral Hersheiser is announcing with the Dodgers on the regular all the time with Joe Davis. Oral won, we know everything in 1988. But what year did Oral Hersheiser win the American League Championship Series MVP? And with what team? What year and what team did Oral Hersheiser win American League Championship MVP. This is Midnight Baseball. I got gratitude to everybody. Fantasy gods, baseball gods, midnight players, racklife.org, hashtag retired Dodgers number 34. See you tomorrow. Woo! Hey, my name is Larry. Spencer won't let me get out of the house. He got me stuck in the car, so go ahead and take Astros tomorrow. They're going to spoil the Mariners. Astros tomorrow. Bye-bye now.